Hi everyone, welcome back to A Better Biomed. Today, you can tell I'm not in the hospital, I'm actually in my garage because I was digging through some of my things. As you can see right there, that is basically all my tools and my entire office in all those boxes. Why? Because bigger things are in motion. I am actually transitioning to a new job, a bigger position at another hospital. And I've got all my stuff right here in my garage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a trick. Something that an army sergeant showed me a long time ago. It's something that's going to help you throughout your career and help you manage your career, basically. So what I'm going to show you is what the army guys called an I Love Me binder. And I have my I Love Me binder right here. I've had this guy since back in the military. And it's followed me through multiple positions and it's cataloged my entire career. So the I Love Me binder is not only so that you can keep track of all your training records, but this guy is also what you take with you to the interview when you sit down with somebody and you start going through your documents and going through your career. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you guys how mine is organized and I will give you basically a flow of how it happens when you go into an interview. So this I Love Me binder, when you open it up, uh, I do have a photo of myself because I can leave that with somebody when I go to an interview. They can staple it onto my resume. I have three copies of a of resume. That's not a current one, but that's just to give you guys an example. I have three copies in my binder when I go to an interview. Roxy, Roxy, seriously. What are you doing? Hey, fatty. All right. Hey, what you doing? Sorry, guys. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, big girl? Yeah, okay. You gonna say hi? Okay. So, guys, uh, in my I Love Me binder, I have three copies of my resume, a good ink pen, not some piece of garbage like that, good ink pen, and your training documents. And a few other things, but we'll go over that in a minute. So in your uh, training documents, you want to have your degree or diploma first. The most important one, which you can tell here, is my biomed training diploma. And then as you go down in uh, importance, they're all in these plastic sleeves, nice and protected, very nice. You can see, this isn't even all my training documents because I need to get some more plastic sleeves, but... You can see how it flows. Then when you get into your military, when you get into your uh, military or other categories, um, you can see I have my military record here. And there's a bunch of other printouts here if I need to pull them out. If you are prior military, DD-214, keep that in there. Um, plus, you're going to have your VA documents. Uh, that way there you can get veterans preference or whatever. You're also going to need your immunization records. Now you can tell that my immunization records are just sitting in here, loose leaf. But that's because you use them and you're going to hand them over when you get a new job. They're going to want those documents. So most people don't keep those. And every time you get a new immunization, keep the document. Every time you get a TB shot, whatever, keep the document. Put it in your I Love Me binder. You're going to need it. Trust me. So let's see. I also have, you can see in the back, I have my master documents. In this pouch, I have my passport. I have my social security card. I have two different types of my birth certificate. They're both in there. And those are protected. They're always in there because you're going to need that when you get your position. So instead of hunting for these documents... When you um, first get hired on, this way here, you have them at all times in this binder. And this binder, for me, gets locked up in a safe until I need it or until I need to uh, go over it. And I believe I go over this guy probably about twice a year. Maybe three times a year, depending on how my career is going. So every time I get a new training or whatever, it goes in this binder. But when you go to a job interview, you can hand out your resume to everybody at the table and then you can flip through your training documents and you have proof of everything and it's all in mint condition because you kept it in this binder. That's just uh, 
little how to do uh, for your career. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.